What if I told you that all of this was already admitted to by previous United States presidents? You're talking about Barack Obama. Barack Obama Joe, said, Joe he said, the aliens won't let it happen. You will reveal all of their secrets. They exercise strict control over us. Let me, let me, let me, let me reenact exactly what Obama said. He was having a, a very, very serious and important conversation with one of our great American thought leaders, <laughs> Jimmy Kimmel. Yes. And he said, the aliens won't let it happen. You, have, you, 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 you will reveal all their secrets. They have strict, con they exercise strict control over us. Or I was Obama, so he was like, uh, you will reveal the secrets. Yeah. I'm kidding. It was a gag bit. He did say it, but you take the quote out of context and yes. people think it's real. So I actually have, this is funny, this is a, a UFO website where they're like, Obama said the aliens won't let it happen. They exercise strict control and he's laughing. And then Jimmy Kimmel says, now there's going to be people who analyze everything you say and how you looked when you said it because it was a joke. That's true. He thinks and, he's and, joking. And Bill Clinton made a similar comment as well. And again, some of these things are legitimately, legitimately jokes, but there are some serious implications, just like with China. China literally built the largest radio dish and telescope so they could try to communicate with aliens. You look up. Well, hold um, on. Yeah. And then if, then if it's true, the aliens are here. Why would they build it? Maybe they're not talking to the Chinese. Maybe the Chinese know something that we don't know about, but they're spending a tremendous amount of money You're saying hunting aliens down are for aliens. I don't know. Maybe they don't like how the you know the Chinese are doing gene splicing right now to build super soldiers, which maybe they allegedly happening uh, from an article that uh, just was released a couple days ago. Who knows? I have no idea. No one really knows until we get more answers from the government that clearly is lying about it. And uh, we, we need more information. I don't information. know, man. Have you, have, did you listen to the 9 a.m. CNN tapes from Project Veritas? No. So uh, you heard about this, right, Ian? Lydia? No. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Project Veritas has recorded the 9 a.m. phone calls from CNN. Yeah. I, it, this, this is relevant, trust me. What you learn <laughs> is that there is no grand conspiracy, just bumbling morons. Yep. You get the president of CNN, mm -hmm. Jeff Zucker, being like, so um, today I think, man, you know, Tucker Carlson's a racist and uh, maybe that's what we should talk about that. And they're like, I really agree. You know, he's very racist. And you'd think hearing this call, it's Jeff Zucker being like, all right, everyone, listen, today we're going to frame Tucker Carlson. We're going to accuse him of. No, it was he literally believes it. It's just a bunch of morons talking about their dumb moron stuff. Well, they're supporting their special interests at the end of the day, and they make sure that they never bite the hand that feeds them. Now, it might not be such a sophisticated, complex thing like we see in major think tanks that usually provide all the talking points, but we do see it as a pretty effective regurgitating machine that just does what it's told. And maybe there's no orders top down, but maybe they just have the individuals that believe in what they believe in that are on the same page. You know, you want to know why? I'll, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I don't think aliens come here. Is that may maybe they do? But it's like, I was watching this video about life, and it was really, really interesting perspective. They said, think about the evolutionary distance between a human being and an ant. It's like a billion years or something like that. But still infinitely closer in, you know, uh, like how we function and thrive and the fuels we use and the air and things like that than an alien race on a planet that was, say, all water or, you know, a different, you know, chemical composition. But more importantly... They said, think about the difference between a human and a dog. Humans and dogs actually communicate very well for an for interspecies relationship. Dogs can learn words in English, can, especially really smart ones like border collies. But you can never explain to a dog what a, suit, what a, what a highway is. You, you can't explain to a dog what an international trade route is. You can explain to the dog loud noise, scary car hurt. Very simple things. Now think about an advanced species that is able to travel you know, beyond the speed of light or interdimensionally or whatever. Why would they try and communicate with something infinitely separated from us? Yeah. That's why you got to take mushrooms. I, I, <laughs> my buddy, my buddy's dog accidentally got into a bag of his mushrooms. It started talking. It got really smart. It realized it was a dog and it would get, it would like really get angry at us when we didn't treat it. <laughs> you don't know with, what it wow. knew. With, well, can't read its well, persona. Um, okay. Let's stop talking about mushroom dogs here, but I disagree, <laughs> I, I disagree with you. And I do believe that there are aliens. I think that we, why? I think especially from the video footage we saw that was released of that unidentified flying object that was defying the laws of physics, defying but the laws of be, science. That could there be was a, propulsion. A military. Um, maybe. That's also we a didn't possibility know about bombs. out there. But, we didn't know about nuclear but bombs. When, we, when it comes to this Israeli professor and when it comes to Paul Heller sitting down with them, looking them in the eyes, these are old individuals who have nothing to lose, who just 
I think we're at the highest elements of government that are now on their deathbed trying to get as much information out there to, to you can't, inform well, no, the no, general listen, public. Listen. I mean, uh, listen. No, no, I, I agree. What I'm saying yeah. is when you're at that, that age, they got nothing over you. Exactly. They're, what are they going to threaten you with? Exactly. So I think that adds an extra layer of credibility to some of their allegations. This is really, Professor said this, and I think I'm, gonna, I'm just going to quote him directly because I think this is important. He said, quote, if I had come up with what I'm saying today five years ago, I would have been hospitalized. Whenever I've gone with this in academia, they said the man has lost his mind. Today, they're already talking differently. I have nothing to lose. I received my degrees and awards. I am respected in universities abroad where the trend is also changing. I'm happy this trend is changing and needs to change a little bit more. It's fun to joke about, but we need more information. We need more accountability. What the hell yes, is the government yes. hiding from us? Because they have a lot that Weapons. we don't know. Weapons. Let me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me tell you something very, very simple, right? How many planets exist that have the identical chemical composition to Earth? A lot. Identical? Oh, identical, Very probably few. zero. Similar. That we know about in the vast Right, right that we know about. And based yeah. on calculations, there. I, I think it's fair to say a lot, but what is a lot relative to the, you know, 40 trachegillion? 10,000 or something? Maybe, right? Now think about this. Would life... So there's, there's two ideas here. Alien life could look like who knows what. It could be a gigantic pulsating mass with like a, a thousand little tentacle arms. It wouldn't necessarily look like a human or have arms or legs. Think about a dolphin, right? Really smart. No hands. And underwater, they can't create fire to manipulate elements to create any kind, to break things, things down and create circuits and build. Dolphins never going to build a rocket ship. It's not possible. Mm. So you have to think about, there's actually an argument for why aliens would probably, if they did exist, like our planet. The, co the chemical composition allows us to manipulate elements to create computers and, and rockets and things like that and other kind of technology that you can't do in a water or atmosphere that maybe would ignite instantly. So that means there may be a bunch of aliens, really smart ones on a bunch of other planets that can't do anything, can never leave. Or maybe their technology is just, they can only get to a certain level. But then if you look at where we're at, it's possible because we have rocketry that there will be another, you know, alien species that came from very similar conditions where they had an, an, a, the right amount of oxygen in the atmosphere so they could create fire, allowing them to separate elements out and then do electrolysis and things like that. However, what if we're actually the aliens yeah. trapped in the oxygen atmosphere and the other super advanced aliens live in this crazy planet where they can better access and manipulate all the different elements uh, and they look at us like dolphins who are trapped forever and can never leave. You hear panspermia, that no. the universe is seeded um, basically by life oh, it's forms. A, that's, a star, that's the Star Trek lore. And that like f a fungal spores, which can exist in deep space and survive, were sent throughout the universe for whatever reason and landed in our oceans and then evolved over time, started to eat other fungus and became animal. And that's kind of, uh, we're, instead of evolutions, we're actually adaptations of that life form for this environment. It's like Prometheus. So you're saying the earth is not flat? Yes. <laughs> that's the, basically where I was going. That's the no, gist of it. No, it's, it's, a, it's a concave bowl, right? Isn't that, is that the actual theory? What a turtle on it yeah, yeah. no 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 they, they say they, when, the people, when the people say the earth is flat it's actually got a, a, a ridge around it of yeah. ice so it's it's the technically firmament, a, it's a right? bowl it's it's a bowl and so it collects the little space dust and the little mm. fungus comes and rains down and I like that. So, you, know, you know what i love about flat earth do you know how they think gravity works no nope. they, they think you got you got a stink bug on your mic hey Just buddy. Leave, leave it they on think they fine. think that the uh the flat earth okay. is exponentially speeding up moving upward oh interesting sucking us down and that mathematically, the speed will never stop. You Can know, you tell me that one more time. I was looking at the bug. <laughs> they believe that, that the Earth is exponentially moving faster in an upward direction. Oh, that's pinning possible. us down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we could also be falling. At, and the entire universe that we perceive could be falling at the same speed, and we wouldn't know oh, yeah. because it was all relative. Maybe to that's itself. a better way to put it. We're upside down, falling, and we're standing on it, just like anyway. So I think what's happened is octopi humans you know our brain stem creature that is inside this saltwater sack is like an alien form well, well the brain stem is saltwater so i think that we're all kind of alien life forms that were seeded to earth but these craft that are flying around <laughs> are like tesla lightweight aluminum craft that the government co-opted from his laboratory and is secretly lying to us and telling us that it are, it's aliens yeah, to but, throw us off the trail but i could make up a million one things you know what I mean? We could keep going all night here. Right, yeah, right, sure right, could. right. Thanks for checking out this clip from the TimCast IRL podcast. We do the show live Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. So come back to check us out when we go live. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, hit the notification bell. And we are also available on all podcast platforms for free. If you want to listen to us there, thanks for hanging out. 
and we will see you all next time.